I'm the head coach, I, I'm the UEFA licensed. Um, we have Rob Burnfall, who is also UEFA licensed. Uh, we both have um, history of coaching in professional clubs. So at the moment, I'm currently working with the second team with their footballing uh, coaching during the day. So my main role is to coach and give them an education on football. For some of them, they've probably never been coached by professional coaches before. Um, so learning and trying to play a way that maybe they're not used to, um, you know, trying to play through the thirds, progressive football, expansive football, you know, getting them to receive the ball in many situations, whether it's with or without pressure, um, building through the thirds to get the ball into the final third and secure possession to inevitably have a shot to score on goal. Uh, we also have Joe Evans, who is our full-time analyst. My role is um, well, I video all the training, all the games, and uh, provide them back with some stats, some feedback. Um, in terms of helping the students, it's a different, you could say it's a different aspect to coaching. So it's seeing themselves in a, in a different light. And when you're playing a game, sometimes you don't, you don't, during the game, you don't really see what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. So Joe works with a lot of the players and all the staff as well in terms of videoing, uh, getting all the GPS data, collecting all the data and delivering the data or videos to the players. Uh, we also have Dan Barber, who is the physiotherapist. I'm there at the games and at training, if anything happens, I can look after them. Um, but also a bit more long term, uh, I can look after the, any rehab that needs doing. A um, bit of knowledge on conditioning and strength and things like that. Um, so strength programmes is fine, rehab programmes um, and any sort of advice, kind of, even just as a pastoral so I'm happy to do that. And we also have Tom Clayton, who is the goalkeeper coach, who works with the keepers every Monday and Tuesdays and then we'll work with the keepers that he's with on a Wednesday to warm them up and get them ready for the games. We work one-to-one -one with all the goalkeepers on both training sessions, um, either with myself, with specific goalkeeping ones where we cover all different types of topics from one-on-one -on -one shot stopping and um, dealing with high balls, etc. Also work with them within the outfield players as well, so when they go do shape work, uh, set pieces, I work specifically with the goalkeepers in that situation as well. We offer a, a wide range of courses, uh, from the OCR Level 2, we have the BTEC Sub Diploma Level 3, we have the BTEC 90 Credit Level 3, and we have uh, HNC and HND, which is equivalent of the first two years at university, which also offers a paid football scholarship. Benefits of the course educationally offers you the opportunity to get a wide, varied understanding of loads of different aspects of the sporting industry. Day to day routine, so at the moment, um, Monday morning we train in the squads, uh, Tuesday morning they train in the squads, Wednesday afternoon they have a game, Thursday is a regeneration day where they have a day off and an opportunity to catch up on all their work and then Friday afternoon varies so we look at doing some analysis every Friday. Uh, we also um, work with different people in the community who come in and deliver workshops we sometimes deliver our own workshops on nutrition. We also play futsal on a Friday in our in-house futsal league. We're now into our third year next year uh, and we're well on plan to go across the college leagues which will offer us a category one, a category two and a category three team. Um, we are going to be the only uh, college in Lincolnshire that will have a category one team uh, which is the highest level of college football. Uh, which offers opportunities to play at a very, very high level against quality players every week uh, and it will offer our players to really grow and develop uh, whilst at Brampton College.